In December of 2019, the San Diego Padres traded outfielder Hunter Renfro to the Tampa Bay Rays. At the time, not much was really thought about this. Renfro was a very solid player through the first four years of his career in San Diego, hitting 89 home runs with a 788 OPS in 390 games. The most notable thing about the Renfro trade was the return for the Padres, with Jake Cronenworth being the most valuable thing they got, someone who has been a very valuable and productive second baseman for the Friars. Other than Cronenworth, nothing too notable came from that trade. Little did we all know, however, but Hunter Renfro being traded from the Padres was the start of five straight seasons with five different teams. Renfro ended up having a poor 2020 season with the Rays, getting designated for assignment by the team after the season, soon becoming a free agent. The Red Sox decided to pick him up, and it turned out to be a great move, as he'd go on to become a key piece in the Red Sox success in 2021. Things were looking bright for Boston, and Hunter Renfro looked to be right in the thick of their future plans. Until he wasn't. Just hours before the Major League Baseball lockout was implemented, Renfro was traded to the Milwaukee Brewers for three players including Jackie Bradley Jr., someone who hit 163 in 2021. Weird and head scratching for sure, but Alright, on to Milwaukee he'd go, and he'd find even more success there, connecting for 29 more home runs and being one of the best hitters in a weak Brewers lineup that desperately needed some thump, and Renfro gave them just that. The Brewers most certainly could use Renfro in their future plans, so good thing they have him on their roster. Wait, what? They traded him too? Yes, yes they did. In November of 2022, the Brewers traded Hunter Renfro to Anaheim to join Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, and the Angels. What this means is that 2023 will be the fifth straight season of Hunter Renfro wearing a different uniform. 2019 was San Diego, 2020 was Tampa Bay, 2021 was Boston, 2022 was Milwaukee, and 2023 will now be Anaheim. This is very weird, to say the very least, at least the last two times he's been traded. It's not crazy to see that the Rays designated him for assignment, considering he just wasn't very good in 2020, but after a really productive 2021 season, why would the Red Sox trade him? And then after an identical situation in Milwaukee with the Brewers having a really good season, why would they trade him? Well, there are some rumors going around now about Renfro, and they have to do with him reportedly being racist. Before I get any further, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Over 75% of my watch time has been from people who aren't subscribed, so hit that button along with the bell for post notifications. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so before I go any further on this, none of this has been confirmed. No players or coaches have spoken out publicly, and even the original source of this report is anonymous. So take Take it as you will. There is a Reddit user who goes by the name of O Barrio who claims to have a family member who works for the Brewers. A reason why this information seems legit is due to the fact that whoever this guy is doesn't just try to make a hit piece on Renfro. He also reports on a ton of other things he heard from his family member, such as status on certain players, if they're going to re-sign or trade them, who they might go after. He even asks his family member things like concessions and ballpark amenities. What this Reddit user does is open questions to the public that he will then relay to his family member, where he will then take what the answer is and post it on Reddit. He made one called Thanksgiving Talk with a Brewers employee, and that's where the topic of Hunter Renfro came up. Nothing about racism. That comes later. After answering a ton of questions about other things, Reddit user Oberio then threw in a little piece about Renfro at the end, saying, quote, Renfro was traded for clubhouse reasons, not for salary reasons. He was very difficult to coach and hard to be with in the clubhouse, end quote. Hmm, interesting. And then, Reddit user Oberio was back, this time with a post called Christmas with a Brewers employee, questions answered. He had tons of other answers he got from his family member on other Brewers topics, and then came another Hunter Renfro report. Quote, Renfro stuff. He was such a pain in the ass. Their grateful counsel, who is the manager, is able to handle players so well. They don't have a problem bringing in players with attitude problems as long as fans won't turn on them. He felt Renfro was not so subtly racist, at the very least didn't get along well with the Hispanic players. End quote. Hmm. 
There have also been some reports that Renfro was a bit of a clubhouse cancer on the Red Sox, rumored to have packed his bags late in the year before they were even eliminated from anything, basically implying that he had no faith in his own team. That's never been confirmed or anything, but neither has this Brewer stuff, so it could all be fake, I guess. But at the same time, there's got to be more to Renfro being sent off for three years in a row. I'd like to believe the Padres genuinely traded him for baseball reasons, but as far as the Rays, and especially the Red Sox and now Brewers, it seems as if there was something more to it than just a baseball reason. I asked the Reddit user who posted these Brewers reports for some more information on this Renfro news, and I got no response. I imagine he either gets a lot of messages, and of course is limited to what exactly he can tell people. So again, there's no concrete proof that Hunter Renfro is a toxic teammate, a clubhouse cancer, or even a racist. But you gotta think there's some validation to those rumors when he's entering his fifth straight season with a different team. That's pretty insane, and really makes you think there's more to it. Let me know what you think, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.